Hi. I will now show you how to figure out what the geodesics on a sphere are. This technique will work for a sphere or basically any metric that's symmetric with respect to some transformations. So let's think of a sphere. All right. Let me draw the sphere here for you. All right. Here. We go. So you have this sphere. Now we know. Let me get a 3D here. You know that if you take a sphere and you take any slice like this through the center of the sphere, so any slice you know, with a plane through the center of the sphere, that if I do a reflection over this plane, so in other words, a point, you know, on this side, you do a, a, a line perpendicular to the plane, let's say the plane that, you know, that cuts is what you see here, so, and you, you take a, a point here, you get a line segment perpendicular to that cutting plane and then at the same distance on the other so here let's say it cuts that plane there the perpendicular segment and then on this side you know uh, let me see something this little line right here meant length so this let me draw this a little bit more accurate uh, right here. okay so by putting this red thing here, I'm just saying that these two segments are the same like that. All right. That's the reflection of this point. And this is, you know, reflection, basically points on the sphere with respect to that plane. Well, that's a transformation, and that transformation is a geometry in the sense that the metric before and after the transformation turns out to be the same. So I had the sphere with a certain metric, I do this transformation, I look at the transformed metric, and it turns out to be the same as the old one. Okay, so say you had that. All right, let me erase this. And now, just by virtue of the fact that the sphere has this symmetry, of course, this is you know, the usual metric on the sphere, etc. Right? You can find some distorted metric where this will be true, but in the, in the usual one, where it's got this symmetry, and, the, and it, by the way, it has the symmetry with respect to any plane that cuts through the center, right, this uh, a reflection symmetry, that's what that was, right, a reflection over this plane um, of points in the sphere, okay, the, you know, for those transformations, the metric is the same, the usual metric in the sphere, so now, if you have such a symmetry, I will we'll figure out that the geodesics on the sphere are actually the great circles. So of course you could have done this, you know, solving a, a differential equation in coordinates in a coordinate system, or you can argue like this by symmetry. So what we're gonna do is the following: we're gonna pick a point. So let's say you happen to pick this plane, could have been any other cutting plane through the center. I will pick a point here, right on the sphere. Then I will pick a tangent vector. Okay, that's on that you know great circle of the sphere. Okay, you know there's a tangent uh, vector to that great circle. All right. So now let's let's ask the, the following question: What's the geodesic that goes through this point? Well, assume that the geodesic was like this. In other words, something that went off the great circle had a tangent there, let's say it goes off again. All right. Well, after the, the symmetry transformation, the reflection, the line now looks like this, right? Okay. And now here's the thing. It turns out that the tangent vector still looks this ex the exact same way. Now, for geodesics, given a point and a tangent vector, there exists a unique geodesic through the point that has that, you know, as its tangent vector. 
By the way, uh, this assumes you know that uh, that the geodesic curves are parametrized. But so now here's the thing. See, this this is a contradiction that they, there's a unique one. So the only way that this could be true, there there could be a unique one, as you know, the standard uh, well-believed theorem says, is if the curve originally was right on that great circle. Why? Because after the transformation, it still you know stays the same, and then it turns out that for this tangent vector, there's a unique geodesic. So that's the argument that the geodesics on the sphere are great circles.